Hi, I'm Sam. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to take you on a tour of the new room that I've just moved into. Many of you know I'm getting out of the military, so I'm handing over my house and I've moved into the block single living accommodation. So I'm going to take you on a room tour so you guys know what to expect when you move into the block. So here we go. We're going to start off with the bathroom, then we're going to move to the study area, then the bedroom, then the living room. So, here we go. This is the bathroom. You're probably going to catch sight of me in the mirror, all right, in a minute. So, start off with all my get clean stuff and my medicine. So, that is just on the wall there. So, deodorant, aftershave, all of that business, what you'd expect. Then we've got a sink. Sink works absolutely fine. And then we have got the toilet. It looks absolutely honking. So when you come off exercise and you've been on your rations, three weeks on exercise, and finally your body's like, right, I am ready to let the rations go. What you're gonna need is a really strong flush because you've been saving up this banger for absolute weeks. So let's try the flush. I press it now. There we go. Can anyone see anything or hear anything? No, nothing. Absolutely nothing. There's a flush there on the wall. So nothing. So basically the toilet doesn't work. So I went and reported it. Fortunately, it's not a long wait time. 20 working days. So when you do come off exercise and all you want to do is go to the toilet and have a shower. Nah, not going to happen, mate. You're going to have to find somewhere else to go shovel recce out the back in the woods for that. So I'm gonna have to wait approximately one month for my toilet to get fixed. Now, as you can see, it's kind of designed like a wet room going up there like so, and there's a shower. Let's have a look at the shower. Oh God, this is dangerous now. Let's turn it on. Not too bad. Probably have to run around in that to get wet to be fair, but that will do me no dramas. Well, I basically just got absolutely soaked then. Now, I don't want to turn it off, unfortunately. Oh, there we go. Right, that's that off. Absolutely soaked now. But it's for YouTube, innit? Right, now we're gonna move into the study area. So this is the study area here. There's a study area there. Not too bad, not too bad, the study area. And because at the unit I'm on, we run lots and lots of courses, so they give you a study area nicely lit. That's what you'd want, a well-lit study area. So let's turn the light on. No, absolutely nothing. There's absolutely no light in there whatsoever. Reported that, that is another 30-day wait. But there you have it, there you have it. There's my little Mac there. This is what I'll be doing the YouTube video on later, editing all that. And then I've just got things like my shoes and that in there. And obviously my cabin boots. So there's the study. Right, now we're going to move into the bedroom. So we're gonna do a turn. Bedroom, there it is, there's a tripod there. Right, bedroom. So you've got the bedroom, double bed, no dramas and what I've done. I've got my gargantuan TV right in front of me. And I've got my Xbox sensor there, little TV controller there. So there's the bedroom. And from there then, just my lamp and everything on there. Guitar, absolutely love playing the guitar, so that's an absolute necessity. Right, now we'll just have a look at what's in my fridge. I need to do a shot for this, so my fridge is pretty sparse. Apples, Diet Coke, water, some dips and stuff for my food. And of course, so I don't have to get a big dip when I get Domino's, I save all the garlic and herb dips from there. And then on top of my fridge, I've just got my plates and bowls and everything and my pan for when I cook in the kitchen to eat. And then I've just got my oatmeal, peanut butter, cinnamon, and vanilla essence. If you don't eat that in the morning, you must be mad. It'll fill you up for absolutely ages. Right, moving back round into the living room area now. So in my living room, I've got obviously my Vitamix and all my 
proteins and everything you've got to eat right to get tight that's for sure so these are all my proteins and my supplements that i take here's my washing gear there adobe in right these are the cupboards here so these are the cupboards moving down into that the issue up is this so i have to get right behind the cupboard to open it couple of bits and bobs in there but here so a minute, you are right up close this is how close i am now with the cupboards like this and then you open it but it doesn't open all the way because the desk is there so that's a bit of a mare really especially when you've got both of the doors open you've got absolutely no chance then but it's okay it's not a drama i'll only pay about 40 odd pound a month for this so really you can't complain so looking at this from outside that is the room as it stands like so bedroom living area then when you walk in you go straight to the toilet that doesn't work and then you've got your study area here right there you have it then. That is a single living accommodation room. It's not great, but do you know what? It could be a lot worse. And of course, it is a lot better in some units as well. But if you don't have any questions, just give me a shout and I always try and get back to them all. Other than that, take care.